Hi, I'm Sarah from Emu Corporation. Today, I wanted to discuss with you some common questions that we get from our customers and information that we'll need from you when best determining the feasibility of using an EMU system for your process. Understanding your feedstock is one of the most important aspects when it comes to determining the feasibility of electrowinning with your system. Certain impurities can affect electrowinning unless they're addressed. If you want to understand more about how impurities can affect electrowinning, check out our other video, Electrowinning 101, with the link found in the description below. Understanding the nature of your feedstock is incredibly important when determining the feasibility of EMU with your process. This is because EMU systems require the metal to be dissolved into an aqueous solution, an electrolyte, in order to recover or win the metals from solution. That being said, if your feed is a solid, like this or this, that doesn't mean that EMU systems can't be used. It just means that we need to get your metals into solution. If you want to understand more about how leaching works, you can check out our other blog post titled Leaching and Metallurgy and Metal Recovery. If your feed material is already a solution, a thorough chemical analysis will help us best design an EMU system for you. Your chemical analysis should include base concentration, the concentration of the target metal, concentration of any impurities, as well as pH. The best method for a complete chemical analysis, especially for your impurities, is ICP. If you haven't completed this analysis, that's no problem. However, we will need some basic information from you to get you started. One very important final piece of information that we require from you when determining the profitability of using an EMU system is how much feed do you produce or how much feed do you need to treat in a given period of time. For example, let's say you have a solution or feed of 10 grams per liter copper and you produce 1,000 liters of this per day. That means that you'll need an EMU plant capable of treating 10 kilograms of copper per day. Now, let's say these numbers change to 50 grams per liter copper and you're producing 100,000 liters of this per day. That means that you'll need an EMU plant capable of treating up to five tons of copper per day. The main difference between these two numbers is thinking about the space constraints for your plant as well as the number of employees that your plant will require. In summary, here are some of the details that we require from you in order to help you best recover the target metal from your feedstock, as well as determine the feasibility of EMU systems with your process. Number one, what is the metal of interest? Are there any other metals of interest? Number two, what is the nature of your feedstock? Is it a solid? Is it a solution? The more detail, the better. Number three, what are the impurities in your feedstock and their relative concentrations? If available, please send along a complete analytical analysis. Number four, what is the goal for extraction? Is it to get saleable metal? Is it to get LME grade? Or is it to simply remove a specific metal from solution? Is your end goal to have a clean solution or a pure metal? Number five, what is the production rate? How much of your feedstock do you want to process? And how much metal is in this feedstock? These are the five things that we'll require from you when you ask us, can I recover metal from this? These answers will help us provide you with the best information for the best EMU system for your process.